So in our six sample program for the arrays unit, uh, what we'll do is we'll convert one of the um, functions that we wrote that uh, processed an array and change it into a function template. So to uh, start off with, we'll consider this problem. Um, we've retained the average of array function from our last sample program, which takes in an array of doubles and the size and returns the, uh, the average value in that array. Our main in this program, however, is quite a bit different. Um, we can see here that we've actually got three different arrays. Uh, one student test grades, which we're familiar with. The other is daily stock levels, which is an integer array. And the final one is precise measurements, which is uh, a long double array, which is the most uh, precise type you have available to you in C++. So what I want to do is I want to uh, find out what the average of each one of these arrays uh, is. So um, uh, I try to use my average of array function, um, but just pass it to different arrays. So let's see how that uh, will actually go when I try to compile it. So it stops on the second one. It had no problem with the student test grades because that was a double array. Uh, but it stops on the second one, which was the, uh, the integer array, and says it can't convert int star or int asterisk to double asterisk. So uh, if it was integer to double value, that kind of conversion can take place. But since we're dealing with memory addresses, because we're passing arrays um, by memory, you, you may recall, uh, what it's telling us here is that it can't interpret a uh, memory address of a uh, uh, integer to the memory address of a double. It just It's apples and oranges, so it can't handle that. Um, when we get into the next unit, 4B, we're going to talk a lot about pointers and memory addresses and that kind of stuff, and we'll understand exactly why that is. But for now, we're stuck with... Um, either creating two more different versions of this array of uh, uh, average of array function or uh, converting average of array from a function to a function template, which is what we're actually going to do. All right, so we'll scroll up here to the top where I have my function and we'll start making some changes here. So it's a template, not a uh, function. The first parameter is an array of... <laughs> Who knows what it's an array of? Size of the array or average of the array, that's right. Okay, so changing this, it's a, a template now. And then class T for type, for my generic type. Um, I'm going to pick up what T is from the first parameter, which is the, uh, the array itself. Um, the size is still an integer, so I'll leave that be. And then I have to decide what I want to return. So if I'm, I might make the decision to leave it as a double. So this, no matter what I send to it, it's going to uh, express the average as a double. And the case of an integer, that might make a lot of sense, an integer array. In the case of the long double array, that doesn't make much sense at all. Um, I'm going to decide to return whatever it is, uh, the same type as the actual array. Okay, so that basically sets up my prototype there. Next, we'll actually uh, change or convert the uh, function definition to a function template. So I've made the same kinds of changes I made before on the uh, function prototype. The only other little thing I need to do is make sure that my sum of values variable also matches the type of the array. Okay, so I think now we're ready to, uh, to save it and try running it. Okay, success. So it actually is able to run, and I can see the average test score looks about right. Uh, the average daily stock level, uh, I have to look at the, uh, the actual numbers, but that's probably about right. And my average precise measurement, uh, I'm definitely not doing that one in my head, but it uh, looks uh, very precise. Okay, so I think that uh, this has been successful. And just as a review, what we did in this sample program was we took one of our array processing functions and converted it to an array processing template, which is probably a lot more useful to you in the long run.